Welcome again, Tom. Today we're finally going to get to grips with the chopper. Great. So, where do we begin, Maddox? Well, we'll start at the most logical place, the startup sequence. Now, starting a turbine helicopter can be very simple. However, it can also be a very fast and very expensive mess up if you're not careful. I've known a number of often pretty experienced pilots lose everything from one botched startup. <laughs> and no, your pop isn't included in that number, Tom. All right, let's get to it. The startup sequence varies with every helicopter. You might want to make notes or find some method of remembering these basic procedures. In general, we should proceed as follows. Switch the batteries on and keep an eye on the charge. To use our electrical systems, we need to power them up. Unless we're connected to a GPU, the ground power unit, we only have a limited number of startup attempts before running out. Uh-huh. Switching the systems on. Hold the starter to turn on the engine. This will use the electrical power unit to start raising the engine's RPMs. We need to do this to prevent what's known as a hot start. Controls can be in front, to the sides, and even above you. Holding the starter. Verify that the engine has reached at least 12%. RPM at 12%. Okay. Now roll the throttle to flat idle. Here, we're introducing fuel. This will rapidly increase engine RPMs and get it properly started. Uh... Good. Rolling the throttle to idle. Wait for the engine to reach approximately 65%. Engine at 65%. Okay. Release the starter. Note that releasing the starter prematurely can cause a hot start. Starter release. Now wait roughly 15 seconds. This will allow our components to warm up. This warm up is not necessary for the engine itself, but it will prevent stress and wear on other moving components. Warm up completed. Bring the engine up to full throttle. This will rapidly increase the rotor's RPM. Consult the center panel to monitor the RPM. Throttle to full. Wait until the engine reaches its max RPM. Once we're there, we'll have enough potential power to generate lift. But to do that, we'll wait until the next lesson.